my success as a coach to this day has been based on fit and going through this process and, and meeting everyone here. Um, I'm not sure I could have found a better fit for, for how I want to coach, how I want a program to be, the Division Three philosophy, and, and really how all of that meshes with what we do. Uh, you cannot recruit unless you really believe in what you have to offer. And, and when you look at our rich history as a program, uh, what a great community this is to live in, um, and then you pair that with the best Division Three conference in the country, um, all those things go together, and, and for a first-year head coach, um, it makes it a little bit overwhelming to think about what a great opportunity this is. This area, from a, a basketball and a talent perspective, uh, Northeastern Wisconsin is rich, and uh, I am excited to, to really tap into the connections and the relationships that I have while building new ones. Um, this place has so much to offer, and I can't wait to get young, young men and their families on this campus and show them the opportunities. Uh, like Brad mentioned, um, playing in, in the best Division Three league in the country, and I don't think we can even argue. I think it, it clearly is based on the performance at the national level. Um, it is if, if you're, if, you know, this is a place where you can win a national championship, and that was something that was a, a priority for me to go to a place where that could be a, a reality. I'm thrilled to be back. As Daryl said, I'm alum. I finished up here in 2004, um, and it's truly an honor. Um, to be in this position to help guide our young men moving forward. Um, it's definitely going to be a priority of mine to make sure that we are um, producing well-rounded students and student athletes as we move through this process. Um, my goals include making sure that we are competing to be um, um, an all-academic team every year, um, something that hasn't happened for a few years here but that I think is definitely a possibility and should be a realistic um, goal for our teams to do. I also want us to be active in the community. Um, when I was here, I remember the community support at basketball games, at football games, and I think in, you know, we need to have a good faith gesture. We need to be out there doing things that benefits the community essentially and that helps to draw them in. I feel like I'm surrounded by uh, winners, competitors, uh, uh, successful people, and it's a great, uh, great environment to start off in. Uh, so as far as new coaches coming in, it seems like, hey, there's a lot of winning records here. So um, uh, very appreciated to start off with a winning, uh, winning crew. Uh, our sport is a great sport, cross country. Uh, for, for, the other, for some of the other sports, our sport is their punishment, right? So, um, so I have a unique individual uh, with my athletes, and I can tell already from my, from my latest cross country runners, they're just wired for success as well. They are different from a lot of people. They are asking, can I do more, more miles, more miles, can I run more? And, and that's the type of athlete you have here. Uh, our women's cross country program is driven for success and, and you can see the titles and, uh, and the history and you may know that more than I do uh, as far as the success they've had. Um, but they are just driven and, and determined for success. We want to create a culture of not just going to the final four, we want to win it. And, um, so I hope to be able to do that with, with the guys. Um, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm thrilled to, um, to continue to be here and be part of the Titan family. Uh, I hope to be uh, dancing a couple more times in the uh, stadium at maybe homecoming um, and beating a drum and singing songs. Um, for some of you that, that didn't know that I do that too, that's part of my job here. Thank you very much and, and um, again, extremely excited to be part of the, uh, the family here. So thank you.